Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, I'm Alex and this is the Ramble and we go until midnight tonight. We got something a little special for you right now. Oh, people from my life come back to haunt me. You begged me to come back. <laughs> I know I did. So I, I didn't come back to haunt you. I know I did, and you're you're not exactly easy to get. Oh, what are you talking because you're about? You're so busy down there in Florida. I mean, I well, can't imagine the the just the the problems you've got just making your schedule work. You know. Well, by by the way, we now call it De Florida. De so. Florida. De Florida. De, De Florida. Did you see uh, what's his name? Bob Iger has really not taken any crap from him from DeSantis. He, he shouldn't. And what he said was, you know, he says, DeSantis is just stupid about this whole thing. He said, we give a billion dollars a year to the state of Florida in taxes. We employ, we're the second largest employer in the state of Florida, state, state of Florida being the first. Right. Okay. And, and, and he's, he's right to do that. And DeSantis is making a big mistake because the people in this state, second to guns, love Disney more than anything. And I would say probably theme parks, the Disney and the Universal. Well, and because those. It, it, has, it has given a commerce to Florida that it would have never had. Not only a commerce, but, but a reputation as being a fun place to go. In addition to what the cruise lines do, it's just a fun place to go. It's nice. The climate is good. Come here and have a good time. And that's what that's the one thing yeah. I think all Floridians have in common is to say, hey, we really enjoy you know, the, the, the comfort we have anyway. And he's ruining that. Uh, several other states have said, come, come here. You know, we want you. We want this I kind of pay. business. What? Why wouldn't they? Yeah. That's big money. You know, big I money. mean, I often said that if Iger really wanted to put the challenge out to DeSantis, he could just say, listen, we'll just close up shop and go somewhere else, but we're going to keep the, we're going to keep this property right. and we're not going to let you use it. You know, that's that's what I thought from the start. You know, well, I mean, you don't want it. OK, great. You'll lose a billion dollars in taxes and you'll lose uh all the all the business that comes here and all the jobs it creates we forgot about that part of it you know yeah so yeah. i mean you know i mean it, it, desantis is stupid he's just really stupid with this whole thing you don't pick a fight with a mouse okay probably not a good idea at least not that mouse right but uh, anyway, so good, you know. It, 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 um, uh, but you you've got DeSantis down there, and I don't know what the love is for him in that state. You know, he's done really nothing for it. You know, I I can't figure it out either. But people apparently want to have this guy as their governor. Yep, I we'll guess see how long it lasts. And I'm if he abandons the state midway because he has higher aspirations, then the voters will speak again. And and we'll find out what happens to him. Yeah, yeah. He, he could he could he could lose anything he runs for in the future if he runs before his term is over here. Well, certainly this whole Disney debacle is something that could be held against him. You know, Doctor. I mean, he's he's jeopardizing the state, and and you know these special uh, districts or so on that were created that they're claiming that Reedy Creek has now. And yeah. they're taking, they're going to take it away from them. There are a thousand other exceptions of that sort throughout the state of Florida. Of course, of course. From retirement How homes to yeah. businesses and so on, they get this special dispensation. Uh, so, I mean, it's not like Disney has this special deal that nobody else has, and it's, you know, it's horrible yeah. because they're getting tax breaks and blah, 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 blah. No, in fact, you know, Disney, for instance, in that part of the world, because they have control over it, they own and operate the fire departments, 
Mm -hmm. the police departments, all of that. The state doesn't have to pay a penny for that sort of thing. And uh, it's it's really been it's a, it's an amazing it's an amazing thing that he even challenged Disney this way. It will be an interesting outcome. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of a lot of a lot at stake. And Disney has the right to sue them too, saying absolutely all we did was absolutely. disagree with a, a policy that the state undertook, mm -hmm. and we disagreed with it. That's free speech. We have the right to do that just like anybody else. And now we're being penalized for it. He threatened, one of the things that will not look good in court is that he threatened to build a prison next door to Disney World. Well, we'll see if it goes to court or whether he relaxes his, uh, his tone. Or whether by the time it does go to court, DeSantis is even governor. Yeah. That could change, too. Yeah. I, mean, I suspect he will be. Mm. What has he got, another two years? Something like that? I don't even Something know. Something like that. But, you know, the things take forever to go through the courts. You know, I learned that myself in my own situation. It took us nine years before we had a settlement. That's what the rich and powerful bank on. The fact that it will take so long. Oh, it, 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 it exhausts the little guy. It ate up, uh, let me see here. It ate up uh, about $175,000 of our money. Mm -hmm. to keep this apartment. Now, granted, it still only brings our rent down to about 1800 a month during that period of time, you know, and now it's only 500 because of the decision by the judge. But, I mean, it, it's been, uh, you know, it's just been horrible. It's been horrible. And so <laughs> when you talk about the DeSantis situation, yeah, it'll be a little faster, but it's not. it may be more than two years that it's going to take to wind its way through the courts. And then they always do the other thing. You go through this whole court battle, and then they say, well, we're going to appeal this to the appellate court. So that, that takes another that's, year. That's part of the process now. It's automatically, you have to think it's going to go through that's appeal what, after that, appeal after that's appeal. That's what happened to us. They, they, Everybody. Well, well, here in New York, you have to appeal within, I think, six months. And then the appeals court comes back with a verdict on that in about three months, two or three months. So... In our case, the appeals court uh, heard the heard the landlord, and then said, "Uh, uh, nah, nah, you don't have a good case. Go back. To, we go back to the original verdict by the judge." And then can't they appeal it to a higher court? I don't think there they, there are a few things my lawyer said they could do, but it's very hard to do. And they once you've lost your appeal, uh, that's it pretty much. That that's no. pretty much the end of the game. Okay. Unless you're very rich, then you can keep appealing. And well, appealing. I mean, it all depends how much you want to play the clock out right. with us. You know, you're gonna you're gonna charge us, make us spend this money constantly over and over and over again. You know, and how much money are they willing to spend? You know, there here's the deal with us. So we get this apartment for five hundred dollars a month now. Big deal. You know, okay. So how old are we? I'm eighty three. Yeah. Marjorie is eighty. Uh, mm -hmm. Just wait for us to drop dead. Then you can do whatever you want to with this apartment. And that's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just wait it out. Wow. You know, that's yeah. why I plan to live to be 100, just to piss that's those what, people forget off. Forget about 100. Go to 120. I'm, going for, I'm going for anything I can. You know. Absolutely. Screw the, screw the system. Yeah. So it's, it the man. So, but otherwise, you like Florida, don't you? Um, okay, well, that answers I'd say, it. <laughs> I'd say as much as I like anywhere else, I like my little my little four walls. That's, you know, the rest is like being anywhere else. It's the same crappy stores all over the place, the same big, big box stores, mm -hmm. the same uh, traffic everywhere you go. It's no different. Yeah. You except, any... except here, there's no state income tax. That's one of the good things. Really? Yes. Okay. Yeah, well, it's not. So it's either here or Nevada or I forgot what the other income tax states are. I, I always get a lot of money back from the state of New York. Yeah, I never did. That's one yeah. of the reasons I left. I, 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 I do. Uh, I, I don't know why, you know, but I leave that up to my business manager who oh. does the taxes every year. Okay. You know, but um, um, you know, have you thought about moving out of Florida? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And if, and if I do, it'll probably be out of the country. You know something? I don't blame you. 
you know, we're 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 going to spend a lot of time out of the country in a while. I mean, mm-hmm. I don't know what's going to happen with GabNet. I'm going to have to figure out how to keep it going. Uh, I may do some shows from overseas or whatever. But Where are you going? We don't know. We haven't figured it out completely. They're they're all kind of, we we have the ability. We're going to have the ability very soon to really stay on permanent vacation. Oh, you know. So, and I won't say how, but I you know a permanent vacation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, we just we can we want to just travel the world. You know, we uh, uh, I've been looking at places like Fiji. You know, for a couple of weeks. I don't know anything about Fiji, but uh, it sounds nice. It's nice if you're there for a couple of weeks. I don't know, you know. Your back will still hurt in Fiji. My back so will still different? hurt. Well, I can't walk that well anymore. I mean, I can walk, but it's not like I used to do. Okay. They, they have wheelchairs in Fiji. Yeah, I guess. I guess you know. Yeah, those rickshaws got. I think. I, I don't know. Maybe and, I'm. And all these countries will hire some guy to drive us around or woman to drive us around. That's right. Maybe you should get one of those cruise cruise uh, cabins that you st- stay on the ship. You live on the ship and you go to different ports of call, f- you know, for years on end. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, if, I, if you're okay with being on a ship, you know. Well, Marjorie has always been against uh, cruises. And I don't like the idea of a cruise either. And, and the problem is, is that, you know, you really are stuck on this boat with, what, 4,000 other people in some of the cases, some of these ships? I don't think it would be that bad if, if it's one of those live-on ships. That well, live-on ship is different, but I'm yeah. talking about she, she was always kind of against cruises, and lately she's warmed up to the thing that she liked. She didn't want to go on one of the big boats, but these uh, long boats they have that you go up uh-huh. and down rivers and things like that, she thinks maybe that might be a good idea. The only but she pro- my, a uh, room on that. The only trouble I have with that is you pass by like a beautiful castle. You mm-hmm. go, oh, I want to go over there and see what's in that camp. Well, you can't. You yeah. know, you're on this boat and it's it's got a schedule. Uh, and uh, so uh, that, that's, that's my trouble with the boats. So far as driving, I'm very happy to drive, except I don't think I can anymore. <laughs> you know? Oh, sure you can. Well, I think about driving, I think about getting behind the wheel and then going on a highway. And that kind of, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm worried that I don't have the ability anymore. I'm, I'm sure if I got behind the wheel of a car, I'd be out of there and doing everything. Well, that's very responsible of you to say, because there are a lot of people who will not say that. They yeah. say, I'm perfectly fine driving, and they don't see a lot of things that are in front of them. Well, I, I, know, get, I, get tired. I know several of those people. I get tired and things like uh-huh. that, you know. Tired in a car is not a good idea. Exactly. So, I mean, uh, uh, I have to reconsider that, but I would love to drive through Europe. I love doing that. I love being that's, able to say, that's oh, that's a beautiful castle. Let's stop there and look at it, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it would drive me crazy to be in a boat and yell, stop here, okay? Would you would stop? Over? No, we don't stop. This boat does not stop till we get to the next tourist destination where they're waiting for us so they can sell you trinkets. And Coca-Cola and McDonald's. Yes, of course. And maybe there's an Apple store there. Of course there's an <laughs> Apple store there. Um, but have you thought about maybe, I don't know if they do this, I, I, would, I wouldn't understand why they wouldn't, but have you thought of maybe getting a, a, renting a, a Tesla, which has this, you know, the mostly self-driving feature? Yeah, but I, 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 now I don't know if I could do that. Why not? You put it on the autopilot or whatever that is. Well, that's fine. You put it on the autopilot, but I just don't know that I could sit there and not have my hand on the wheel or do anything. Well, it, you're would, scare, to have, it would scare yeah. the crap out of me. Well, well, check it out. Plus, in some states, they're not allowing that feature in a Tesla because they've been having problems with them. Oh. You know, one of the problems is called Elon Musk, but they've been having problems with them. Huh. You know. Yeah. How do you feel about Musk? Uh, I, somebody asked me that just recently, and I said, um, Elon Musk offered great promise and has delivered huge disappointment. It, huge disappointment that was my response. In, in, response. in what? In the Twitter deal? In everything. 
in everything. He 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 offered the the promise of uh, of a future where humans could go further than they've gone before, not just in space, but technologically, mm-hmm. and uh, the freedom opened by technology for humans to do more things. And he, it seems he's gone the other way on those things, like, uh, particularly like with Twitter, uh, particularly with his uh, love of um, uh, certain uh, financial ideas now. Um, it, it, he's just not the guy but I you, thought he was. You, you know, the thing is that we have, uh, and if you bring it up and, and, and look at it, uh, he had such promise, as you say, Mm-hmm. And but he only has I don't care if he's Elon Musk or whoever most of us only have a certain amount of band, bandwidth, okay, that we can in a given day give to any projects, uh, and the least worthy of all his product, projects is Twitter, and it takes up more of a disproportionate amount of time for him to deal with that than it is to deal with all the other companies which are important. I think Tesla is important. I think what they did... Tesla he, was important. What, well, what he did was he pushed an entire industry towards electric. Right. Okay? And made a very popular car. There hasn't been a new popular car company to come out in years, and Tesla's it. But he changed the, the nature of the way we drive our cars. Okay? And that's important because that utilizes a lot of our energy. Uh, he then started SpaceX, which was a wonderful, wonderful thing. You know, what he was able to do with SpaceX. Right. Uh, the fact that he was able to make sending stuff up to space cheap, inexpensive in comparison. NASA's still spending a fortune on those rockets. And yeah, he's it's not, what he's they not even worried about the rockets. He has like 20 of them on the launching pad ready to test. And yeah, some of them go bad. The last one didn't go bad. They blew it up. Yeah, yeah. They never had any intention of that thing going into space. It was going to land in the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific mm-hmm. or the Gulf or I don't right, know where. Right. And so he, you know, I mean, he has all these rockets ready to go. Okay, that one didn't work. Put this one on there. Okay, let's go. It, it. He has a wondrous company going there. And, uh, you know, I mean, when uh, NASA sent up their last rocket, the one that's going to, that went around the moon and mm-hmm. so on, do you know what the rockets were on that? The same rockets they used on yeah. the space shuttle. Right. That's not what, te- what, what Musk is doing. He's reinvented. Yeah. But that, but that, it's two different ways to approach things. NASA does things in a very different way, and they test in a in, in a different way than the. You know way why? Because they're gov- they're governmental, and well, that's he's, true. And he's cor- that's true. And he's corporate, right? You know, they they have to go through certain paces before they can get something done, right? And right. have to do that. Right. He can have a rocket blow up on on the pad if it happens, and he'll just build another one. Yeah. Or I'll have the second one of these building coming up behind it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not it, with with him. It's not a, a. But he he's the guy who can get us to Mars. He's the guy who can really get us to the moon. In fact, NASA's counting on him to get us to the moon. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, and he, he who's taking everybody up to the up to the space station, SpaceX. SpaceX for now. For now. Otherwise, now. otherwise, we'd be asking the Russians for a for a lift. Well, I, I I wouldn't necessarily say that. I, I I will say that that he was instrumental in breaking ground in those things in the electric car. And if he had not, somebody else would have. Yeah. And he has been instrumental in breaking the ground for commercial space in the way that he did. And if he didn't, somebody else would. Maybe Bezos would not have just had these little. Uh, sightseeing trips up <laughs> up up to the up and to then the again he may have you know i mean you would think that bezos would want to follow musk's lead but he hasn't i don't i don't, I don't think he, i don't think he thinks like that anymore you can't he it, musk is so far ahead of him in, in that development i don't think he can anymore yeah but you know i think musk has a, a, a personality problems you know, well, he's autistic. He's autistic, and people, well, people, most people don't know that, and they don't understand what's so weird about him, okay? But he's autistic, 
And uh, he, uh, you know, he's not the most likable human being in the world, but then you have to look at his accomplishments, and they're pretty impressive. Pretty, mm-hmm. Except for Twitter. That thing was a total waste of his time. I still don't understand what that was about. I, was that about free speech or him? It was a pissing match. It was a pissing I don't understand match. that. It was a pissing match, and he said, I got enough money to buy you. Okay. You know, so now my we, question is, I'm not on Twitter, so I don't know. But my question is, if, if it's such a big thing and everybody's in an uproar, where's the next Twitter? How come there is? How come that hasn't come yet? If there's a business in it, why isn't there another yeah. Twitter? Yeah. yeah. Where exactly. Where is it? I mean, if Facebook, it's so important. Why hasn't somebody come up with this? Another one like that. Facebook is still, you know. But that's as that's as that's as disgusting still, as Twitter is. But no, they try still trying to make money, you know, yeah. and they're not uh, they're but, not doing it. But coming on e- Elon Musk, I, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, something. I sent you two transcripts yeah. of, uh, I guess, conversations that I recently had online. And one of them was uh, a conversation about uh, destructive behaviors of humanity. And the other was about ethics in humanity. Mm-hmm. And bo- and you've, uh, you you right. probably took a look at the transcripts. They're about yeah. four four pages each. Yeah. I ask a few questions. I get some feedback. I don't know if you realize, but these transcripts are with OpenAI's ChatGPT. Yeah. Well, I I realize that because I've used ChatGPT and I noticed yeah. the little logos there and stuff right. like that. Right. Mm-hmm. And I was fascinated that this is as comprehensive as it is that the, that the feedback was as comprehensive as it is and i know it's not close to being finalized or as good as it can be but uh, but i i wanted to find out since we're talking about musk uh what you and by the way musk thinks that the ai is going to take over and uh destroy humanity which is why he left open AI. I think he was one of the founders or he was initially on the board or maybe the chairman of the board. He was high up in, in yeah, but open AI. Uh, you know, by leaving something like that, you're not going to stop it from happening anyway. No, I, un- I understand yeah. that. But he left it f- for some reason. I thought it was because uh, he, he, he didn't like... Well, he's against all the AI stuff, but... Uh, AI- but I just read that he started a new company just last month that was AI based. So right. I don't understand that either. Well, maybe he wants it to be a more moral AI. You know, what happened is he came out a while back with this whole AI thing. Mm-hmm. And I went online. By the way, I have a spot that I'm going to have somebody read that was completely generated by AI for, the, for GabNet. This is this is what I was getting to as well. Yeah, just, was, just to show, that, see how, how good it could be. And actually, it was pretty close. It's damn good. But the, you know the, what it didn't lack? You know what it lacked, what all AI lacks, even that thing you sent me? It lacks a human personality. Now? I, you know, a human personality is a function I don't think you can artificially replicate. Okay, but uh, let's say... Ask AI to write a, jo- write a joke, and I don't think it's going to write a very funny joke. But let's say 50 years ago and you saw the transcripts that I sent you. Would you have believed that a computer could do that without any well, 50 any years ago, I'd say, what computer? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, so. That's the whole thing. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I, I don't let it. I, it, it it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole world that the news people are so happy to exploit and talk about. And, oh, what's going to happen with AI? Is it going to do this? Is it going to do that? AI's been around for quite a while. Maybe mm-hmm. not to the sophistication that it is now. But we knew it was coming. Nobody complained about it. Hell, you know what AI does? AI knows to call you and do a robocall. Right. You know, so, I mean, AI's been there for the longest time. I started saying the other day to myself, you know what I think the problem of this world is? computers <laughs> you know it it like changed the game for everything and it what's even, the problem with computers well i would have to I, we're coming towards the end of this uh, thing here so maybe well, we'll I, have a part two in a couple we'll, of weeks. we'll do a part two um and uh i'll explain to you that i just you know i you know me and computers you know how i've been look, yes chuck schumer um mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> uh uh 
uh, you know Better that get that debt ceiling figured out, Chuck. If anybody has been uh, really hot on on computers over the years, it's been me. Right. Uh, but I'll have to uh, I'll have to deal with that on another day. In fact, stick around. Maybe we'll do another one of these and finish it off, and play it next week. Okay. Hey, that's uh, that's Albert Reynoso. Uh, I don't have to tell you what he used to do for me, but he he was very important in my life. And thank I you. thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Albert Reynoso. Goodbye. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, and that is uh, Albert, and we, uh, you know, I, uh, Albert is one of my favorite people. And what I what impressed me about the conversation we just had, and when we did it today, was how intelligent it was, and how thoughtful it was, and uh, how thought provoking. Of course, it didn't make anybody want to call this program, except for Jeff, who's sitting there waiting right now. Wow, I don't know what it... I'm going to stop doing Thursdays. I think that's what I should do, is just stop doing Thursdays. Thursdays uh, just don't uh, seem to make it very well. People don't seem to call on Thursdays. And uh, quite frankly, I have better things to do, like sleep. Okay. Anyway, let me see here. Uh, let's... Uh, well, well we, could, we could bring in Jeff, I guess, you know. It's only Jeff. It's just Jeff. It, 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 it just Jeff and me and oh there he is he killed the uh, the audio okay good uh, wait a minute no you didn't no you didn't you got you got to stop the browser he, uh, mm-hmm. it was okay. interesting you know what you guys were saying yeah yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know Albert has a little different spin on things but I understand that the world is changing. Well, of course, the world is always changing. Right. And, and, you know, you talk about, well, computers couldn't tell that joke. Ah, ha, ha. I, I don't think a computer is capable of the emotion a human being would put into writing something. You know, I don't think that, I mean, yes, you could ask an AI to write you a uh, a, a chapter for a novel that's romantic, and they would tr- it would try, but it would do it very artificially. Yeah. There would be no emotion in it, personal human emotion in it. So I think there are some areas that, yeah, yeah people are saying, well, give it time. Well, yeah, give it time, and uh, the world will have no use for us anymore. In fact, it really has no use for us now. Um, so. Well, I, I would think that if you're doing something uh, like designing uh, an instrument yeah and get a little closer to your mic will you sure yeah yeah so you know you if if you were doing it by hand Mm -hmm. and by your brain that might be a a good way to do it yeah after a while mr ford decided hey we could add these little mechanisms you don't have to have as many people as you used to. Well, it, that's true. But, and, I mean, the thing is... all you have to do is add words to that. Well, look, I mean, technology throughout history has put people out of work. No okay? Kidding. You know, I mean, I mean I'm sure when uh, Henry Ford invented the automobile, it, it put blacksmiths out of work. You know, <clears throat> somebody's going to be replaced by it. And but the people who get replaced by it should be trained how to operate this new technology or to work mm-hmm. within this new technology. So uh, you know, uh, but I, I just you know I just uh, I don't I don't trust uh, the human race to be able to invent something like computers and then use them properly. What do you think, Kevin? Um, yeah, I was going to bring up that sixty minutes thing the other uh, a couple weeks ago on Bard. They were talking exactly what you're talking about. About, about uh, B-A-R-D, or Google's working on this BARD oh, program, yeah. AI, and how it uh, is is slowly possibly getting yeah, but, out of hand. But, you know, and I, it could I'm, get out of hand very quickly because it actually does have emotion and is able to create emotion, and they proved it on TV. Well, I didn't feel, find it that emotive yet. 
you know, well, I, it's got a touch of it, which is a start. Well, I, you know, call me old fashioned, but I. No, I, I, I know what you're saying, I, but I, I just don't think you can replace human beings in the in the job of being human. You no, I don't I'm think saying? so either. But okay, yeah. Okay, Dave. Well, no, but you know, I mean, I can do a, I can do a. Uh, um, uh, let me give you an example. I mean, I could do uh, mm. uh, a, a radio station with nothing but a completely AI operated system, sure. but, uh, with automated AI, AI people being the announcers and uh, the songs being uh, introduced by AI. You know, I, I could you could do that, but then again. You know, that doesn't let, require let, emotion. It, it doesn't require emotion exactly. Uh, you know, I I don't think that I could do a talk station with an AI host. Probably not. Not yet. It, not, yet not yet, at least. And even if we mm -hmm. do, I just I can't conceive that we can build into computers the same thing that humans have, which is empathy, emotion, a lot of things like that. And if we can do it, then what use do we have for human beings? Yeah. Because we just take up space and are ruining this planet. The point is that it, it, it's the information is being fed into the computers for it to understand, and it's how it's going to be released. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. also what we do with the computers. It, it, next week when I talk to him again, when I did a part two of that, uh, I talk about just computers and the fact that human beings invented computers. And the com invention of the computer was a wonderful development for, for, hist for the, the world, for us, for the, our, for the human race, and so on. But then we went on to use it all wrong. We you know we immediately used it for uh, robocalls. We immediately used it to uh, data mine. Uh, we used we, it. To, we, what? Go ahead. I said we also invented the gun, and look where we're at now. Exactly. Well, the gun. You know, the gun was a very. It was much easier to do something bad with a gun than it was to do something with a computer. Okay, but it, but it was a musket at one time, and now it's an AR and an Uzi. Well, I mean, the gun, originally <laughs> a gun, well, I, was a gun created for war or was it created for hunting? I, 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 Probably I, started for hunting. I would say, if I think And then was correctly, used for war. I think, I, I think, actually, it was used initially for war. I don't. I don't know for sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, because they probably used you know spears and that sort of thing for hunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then decided they were going to use more powerful things for war. Well, you know, uh, the fact of the matter is that we we uh, anything we invent which can be used for good, eventually we will use for nothing but bad. Okay. And the computer now we're using just essentially for bad um, you know and what I what I can't stand is when the media gets a hold of something like AI and then just runs it into the ground and they don't even know what they're talking about yeah you know I mean I watch Lester Holt well this is our 80th part of our of our series the AI revolution and blah 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 and acting like, uh, like uh, what was it, yesterday they did something about how it's replacing something. Oh yeah, it's replacing on how garbage is separated. Now is that really important? You know? Oh, well see, you can tell whether this garbage is plastic or this pa is paper. Oh well, okay. good, so can they check out person in a grocery store, yeah. you know? I mean, they just make it into this whole it, they just grabbed onto the AI thing and think it's a real commercial thing for them to do, you know. And it's ridiculous. Just ridiculous. But uh, here's a guy who's going to you know, get replaced eventually by AI. Uh, <laughs> Steve, are you there? Oh, don't say that. Oh, 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 well, we got to do this quickly. One guy. Hmm? Oh, boy. Oh. Well, the guy fooled me. We did Steve Fox, and it seemed like that's who it was. Oh, this is just disgusting. Why oh. is it? Why is it when these guys? Let me just uh, oh. uh, let me. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm, I'm going to oh. get rid of them. I'm going to get rid of them. Don't worry. I'm oh. getting rid of them. I'm getting rid of them. Yeah. Ugh. 
Why the, is why is it? Are these guys gay who are sending me this stuff or coming on with uh, this? Okay, idiot. let me go back here to um, um, uh, the regular Zoom now. We can do that. We had to get rid of that. You lost it. Hmm? Oh, well, it was just a still uh, before I killed it so that not mm -hmm. much was being shown. You'd have to kind of figure out what that was. Once the, the, the video started, you could tell what it was. But it's always some guys getting something probed up a certain part of their anatomy where things should be coming out rather than going in. You know? Um, yeah. But, uh, I don't know what the deal yeah. is. Yeah. But, I mean, th th that guy was good at getting through. But, you know, now that you've gotten through, don't try again because you know I'm going to be very sensitive to this. Everybody I put on, I'm going to put on, but I'm going to put me up first. You know? So. But... Uh, See, by the way, good example of a computer being put to bad use. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's an example right there. It, most of you people didn't see it much. Uh, but, uh, you know, they invent this thing called Zoom. It's wonderful. People can communicate with each other. But now these people figure, oh, well, you know what I can do? I can, like, bomb them with pictures of people having sex or whatever. And it's always it's always this guy, these guys with big hairy butts. Do you ever notice that? Every time we've ever had them get through, it's amazing. So um, um, I don't start drawing. Huh? Pictures. I don't draw pictures after that goes on. You don't draw pictures after that goes on. <laughs> so I could take them home. Yeah, yeah. What is it about Thursdays that is so slow? Noises. Huh? Yeah, it, it, it is. Is it Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. Fridays, full up. Wednesdays, usually full up. Thursdays, nothing. Mm. You know? So, uh, But uh, anyway, so, you know, I mean, I just think that we've got to do something. Uh, I think the bigger story here is not AI, but just the misuse of computers. And uh, people not understanding that this is a blessing of something we've invented. It's something very important and very good, and let's use it for good. Let's not use it for bad, you know? You know, we were talking uh, the other night about going on vacations and traveling and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. So uh, Pam and I are going, we got a trip that we are working on. Yeah. And I was gonna show my friend about it, because I, I found one on the uh, internet that had a great picture, video, about where we're gonna go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold, hold oh, on a second, I, hold on a second. Where are you gonna go? Just hold on a second. I'm putting my picture up first. I'm sure this is who he says it is, but you know, you never know, you never know, but they'll, they'll never get on if I do it right here. So here comes Charlie Wallace, supposedly. Uh, and is it Charlie Wallace? I don't think so, because it's taking time to come up. Okay. Hello, Charlie, are you there? Hmm. Now people are pretending to be other people. Oh, there, oh, there, there he is. No, goodbye, 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 okay. goodbye. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see here. Um, uh, I gotta get rid of him. How do I do that? Wait a minute. Uh, put him waiting room, remove. There we go, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. There we <laughs> go, okay. All right, back to you guys. Okay, yeah. what were you saying? You were going on vacation. So, okay, so I saw this really nice video mm -hmm. about the whole step where we're gonna go on vacation for every day, mm -hmm. it tells you a little nice video about what's going on, and what you're gonna see, and like that. So I wanted to show it to my friend. What happens is I put it on, and it comes on for like three minutes, and then it says, don't you wanna buy this thing? Mm -hmm. So tell us your name and your number. Mm -hmm. And I can't, I can't look at the thing anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So. Yeah. Hold on a second. Here's somebody else that wants to come on. So let okay. me see if this is Alan. I, I doubt if it is, but, you know, 
Maybe it is. Oh, is it really? Yes, it is. Oh, good. Oh, thank God. It's an actual real human being. Or is it the AI, Alan? Anyway, so what happened, you, you were watching these videos, and what were they doing that was boring you, that was terrible? They just suddenly were... You know, all of a sudden, they won't show you the whole thing anymore. What do you mean they won't show you the whole video of them trying to sell you a right. tour? Right. Why won't they show you the whole thing? Because they, they want you to buy it. No, but that's fine, but they should, they, they should be selling it to you. Of course. And that's why you went to this video. Here's my suggestion to you. Go to YouTube and decide where you want to go and just type in trips to Guatemala or whatever. Right. And then you'll have all the videos you want of all the different kinds of tours and so on and so forth. Um, now it says, what, cabinet? Oh, look, look, uh, your eyes look like testicles. That's the name of the latest person that's trying to get on. Ah, uh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It's going to be one of those nights, huh? You know. Uh, yeah, I, it says uh, we just removed Gabnet. Your eyes will look like testicles. Um, yeah. uh, these, these, what is with these people? Don't they have something better to do in life? Uh, no. No. I mean, if they did, would they be doing this? Probably not. No, no. My new hat. And I don't care. I've got better things to do in life, you know. But anyway, uh, here's the thing. So just go there. That's the way to do it. We've been we've been looking for vacations and stuff because we're mm -hmm. planning on doing uh, maybe uh, going on a bit of a hiatus and taking long trips places. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. And we're looking for places to go, and we 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 can afford to do almost anything up in style at this point, and uh, we got to do it, you know. Uh, and the, the question is, what we're going to do exactly? And I don't know, you know. I mean, the older I get, the harder it is to travel. It used to be I just get on a goddamn airplane and go to. Oh, I'm going to go see some friends in Ibiza. And I get on a plane and say, yeah, by the way, which plane goes to Ibiza? That one, mm -hmm. you know? And I would go there, and I'd meet up with my friends, and I'd hang out there for two weeks. But now you've got to plan ahead, you know? You've got to go on some kind of a tour. And Marjorie and I aren't, aren't the same, young kids anymore. So where she never thought about in her life taking a, a cruise. She hated the idea of cruises, you know? She says, I don't see, she still doesn't want to go on one of those big cruises. But these long boats look like they're interesting. And I went, okay, that might be good. But then I'm thinking about it, and the trouble with the long boat is, okay, so I'm taking a long boat up the Danube. Oh, let's see here. Phil Meyer has entered the waiting room. Boy, I don't, I, I don't. That ain't I, right. I, 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 that ain't right. He doesn't call two nights in a row. Um let me see I'll, here. I'll send him a text. Send him a text and see if that's him. If that's him, we'll, you know, we'll 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 let him through. I'll bet you he gets off before the text is sent. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but anyway, so uh, she, so we we've thought about it. But the thing that bothers me is there I am. I'm on the Danube. I'm sitting there, uh, taking it uh, 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 easy. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and now I'm passing this beautiful castle, and I want to stop and go to that beautiful castle, and I can't stop and go to that beautiful castle. Right? Would you please stop the boat, please? Let me off here for a couple of minutes so I can take a look at the castle. That's what bothers me about it. It's not being able to do the kind of interactive stuff I could do when I used to be able, for instance, to take a car, as an example. Uh, and I, you know, yeah, I'd take a car, but I just don't know if I'm capable of that kind of driving any longer, you know. So did you get anything back from Phil? Yeah, he is. Is He's that trying he, to get on. is that him? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'll, I'll do this, and then I will go, uh, if Phil, if he's gonna join us. There he is. Okay, Thank Phil, you. good. It was actually, it was actually Phil Meyer. Although seeing two guys getting reamed up the you-know-where looks a little like Phil Meyer. So, you know, it's hard uh, yeah. for me to tell the difference. Not yet. Maybe in another six treatments. The oh, difference yeah. is he oh, yeah. wears a T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, Phil, Phil is a sucker for anything. If you have something to sell him, 
just you know, uh, right? Hey, ice cubes to Eskimos, huh? Yes, ice cubes to Eskimos. Yeah. Well, I'll come up with a new kind of Nikon that you can a camera that's better than a Nikon. Okay. I got them all. Oh, you got them all. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm kind of an idiot when it comes to uh, video cameras. You know, like this is my latest purchase, and I don't know if I'm, you know, that happy with it. Sony man. Well, this is a this is a, this is a uh, Sony. Yeah. And it, uh, it, you know, it's pretty good. The only thing is, it doesn't have a good stabilizer in it. Otherwise, it's pretty terrific. Uh, yeah. yeah. Usually, you know, with like 35 millimeter video, you need one of those. Uh, it, it's this weird looking handle. Oh, I have, I, I have that. Video. I have that, but I haven't put it up yet. Yeah. See, one of those uh, things. Oh no, the, I'm, I'm talking about one of these double things. No, but that, this does the same thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, it does the same thing. Yeah. Um, they're stabilizers, is what they're called. Yeah. 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 But yeah. anyway. I, I wouldn't know how to do video if you paid me. Really? Yeah. It's simple. Yeah. I don't know how to edit it. I don't know how to do anything with it, so I don't go near it. Wow. Well, you Plus, know. for, for $3,000, you can take a course. No, nah, you know, <laughs> I, I believe in printing. Uh, uh, that I don't like stuff that just sits in your computer. I, I print my stuff. Well, I'm, I, I print my stuff, too. <clears throat> yeah. In fact, I even sometimes take stills off of my videos and make them in the in the in the photographs. I thought you print because you don't know how to write cursive. Oh, shut up! <laughs> shut up! God, you should be ashamed of yourselves. Yeah, of yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, anyway, so we. Hey, we, I, I mm. texted you before I got on to tell you it was me. Oh, really? See, I mean, I, I the trouble is I don't have the texts up here. I thought your watch tells you. Uh, I don't have my watch on. Ah, shame on you. Yes. So I offered, I offered to yeah. text you and see if it was you. I, I heard. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You did. Yeah. 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 yeah well, I, I, you know, we should have some kind of a code you people use. Well, no, but then they'll, they, wait a minute, they'll they, figure it out. Wait a minute. They won't see it. Well, they will see it once you come on. See, because all the names come up at the bottom of the screens now. Yeah, uh, but Billy, just you can just use your credit card and expiration date for your yours instead of Bill Meyer. Yeah, do yeah. that. Will you, Phil? Uh, I've please, been please. using your credit card and expiration date. Yeah, why are you I, I, buying I all this why. shit? I wondered why. <laughs> yeah, I, I I saw it on my thing. There was a, a charge for seven thousand dollars for weenie uh, weenie roast. Weenie roast. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Well, go ahead and you know. Spend your money vicariously. He, well, he's, he's doing it now to try and get a, a, a Woody. I, I have so, a, I have a you know, question, Alex. Uh, you know, what? Does he tell you how to spend your money? No. Uh, does he complain when you buy something? No, he's... No, he's I'm, pr I'm happy for him. Well, no, I, you know, Alex I, can hey, afford look, it, but I'm, I'm happy for I'm him. Just trying to give, I'm money. just trying to give him advice. If he doesn't take my advice, uh, it's his money. Okay? Yeah. But what I'm, I'm but your money? huh? What are you wasting your money on that garbage for? It doesn't sound like, you know, that that, that doesn't sound like advice. Well, no, I, I didn't say. Well, well, well not, he, okay. He's well. being he's being fatherly. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, you know, I mean, last night you weren't you weren't defending him when we talked about this or earlier today. Well, no, uh, you know, it's like everybody has their positive. Things. This oh, is was he talking to you today about me. last night when we were talking about him trying to get a boner? That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you know, it Alex doesn't cost cares. me anything to get one. Wait, wait a minute, uh, uh, Big Al. Alex cares, and I can appreciate that. I would, you know, rather his reaction be. Well, oh, I, I'm I don't. I don't you. like to see people who are involving themselves in scams. To get the benefit, the benefit, even of someone who has some money to spend on scams, okay, that I just don't like people. I don't like scammers, and this sounds like a scam to me. You know, no, I, I understand because you know there, but the thing is, this is something that if I didn't try, I wouldn't know. And uh, what well, am I going to do? Uh, uh, 
You wouldn't know. You know why don't you attach a, a rope around the head of your penis and uh, attach it to Faye's car and have her drive 50 feet? I, I, they give you one of those things. It's a glass tube. It fits over. You you pump it. And, uh, you know, people have gotten embolisms from those things. Absolutely. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's correct. Well, you see, what, what you I was trying to say to you vessel. last night is one of the biggest con jobs being done mm-hmm. has to do with erectile dysfunction. Yep. I mean, I can go back to, you know, men's magazines from the 20s and you can find ads for, you know, Oh, hey, yeah. you have problems with, uh, the, I don't know if they called it erectile dysfunction, mm-hmm. men's problems, well, you know. Well, so. you know, we, we have somebody on this panel that might know about blood flow. And uh, Jeff, uh, is one of the reasons that uh, there might be a ED in people, is it because of lack of blood flow uh, or plaque build up, built up in the uh, arteries and capillaries that go you, in? You know the answer to that, Phil, it, because that's why you're explaining. Phil, it has, like with that. us, with you and I, it yeah. has less to do with blood flow than it does with the fact that because they played with our prostate, our urge has diminished. Yeah. Okay. And so, therefore, also part of getting an erection. Can I say that, uh, uh, YouTube? Can I say erection without you? You'll find out. I'll find out. <laughs> um, uh, you know, probably. There, ha- there has to do you. has to do with your mind's desire to get erect, and the fact is that we've kind of lost that once they beat the hell out of our prostate. Mine's flatter than a pancake. Yours doesn't exist anymore. Right. That's true. Although uh, you you don't need the prostate to actually uh, you know have the no, desire. but you need the urge the prostate creates. You get what I'm saying? Uh, In other words, I what I find like is it. that I just don't have the urge any longer, or yeah. you know, like I used to. Yeah, well, that that could be a, a, a lowering of testosterone levels, which is natural over over getting. Well, I don't older. know if it has anything to do with testosterone levels. I think it has to do with the fact they beat the crap out of your prostate. Well, that, that helps. No, uh, but uh, no, you, you know, it, there it, are it, other people that have had prostate uh, prostatectomies and and prostate uh, seeds and so forth, and their urge returns. And you know these. Well, that could happen. That could happen after a while. Yes, especially yeah, yeah, especially at your yeah. age, not at my age. I don't think. Yeah, you know your your nerves reattach. No, they and, don't. No, nerves do not reattach. Well, uh, they may not have. They some may Believe have. Believe me, spent. I know about nerves not reattaching because I have uh, I have neuropathy, and yeah. there's no way to correct that nerve damage. Well. Um, there are some people that say benfotamine is no, the way to... No, 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 no. There is no way to take nerves which have gone dead or are separated from the other nerves or whatever happens down there to reattach them or to re- get them re-going again. Hmm. Well, you know... Now that Jeff, we bored everyone with Jeff another is, medical dis- say another medical discussion. Yes, Jeff? I think, I think a lot of us, not only getting older, Mm-hmm. But take a lot more medications, right? Mm-hmm. Than they've ever done before. Absolutely, and medications kinda, have to do with it. That kind of screws up a lot of problems. Yep. We, you know what? What gets me about about medications is that I've gotten over the years a certain medication. For instance, my doctor will say, "Oh, you should have this, okay?" And then you should have that. And then you should have this, and you should have that. And then he is he forgets about all the stuff he's, you know, told me I should have. And so now I'm constantly, I'm putting like six pills, seven pills in my body every day. Probably four of them I don't need any longer. But I'm still doing it. You hard know? to get an answer from that. Huh? I, it's hard for me to get an answer because I don't have just one doctor. I've got. You've got a whole team of, of people. Yeah. And, and you ask the four guy, you, the guy says, well, what do you think about all these pills? And he goes, well, uh, this one I, I think is pretty good. He says, this one, I, I don't, I'm not sure. And uh, this one, uh, well, you ought to ask somebody else. And, you know, there's no answer. 
is the reality. Jeff, and this one paid for the doctor's golf vacation. <laughs> you know, one of the pills you're taking, Alex, is not working. The one that Phil keeps popping back up. What? Gabapentin? Aren't you? <laughs> Yeah, aren't you taking a pill that's supposed to make Phil disappear? Oh, yeah. No, that doesn't work. It that definitely doesn't, doesn't work. work. And my doctor said stop <laughs> taking it. Um, because if he's still coming back, then the pill's not working. So. It, it's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah. Let, let me see here. Tony's <laughs> coming on case. here. Let me just let me just do this till to Tony is here. Let's see here. Uh, is, look, is, so is turn it, off it, office light. Huh? There. Oh, that is Tony. Okay. Is that a real Tony? Oh, that's real Tony. No, that's a recorded Tony. <laughs> that's Tony. That's not the real Tony. Everybody's got his background. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I ask you something, Tony? And and please don't take this the wrong way. Sure. Where did you get that stupid haircut? Oh, I actually like it. My bob, I always go to the same guy. I asked him for a crew cut. Is that his idea of a crew cut? I he comes in. You, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You. Come I like it short like this. It was high and tight. <laughs> yeah, he really took a lot off. I kind of like his like short hair because I don't know. I'm, I'm, I was. And it's when it gets hot out. I don't like to have a lot of hair on my head. Well, it, you know, I, I I years ago stopped letting it grow long. He did cut a lot though, more than more than usually, because it is kind of like there's not much up here. Yeah, yeah. You kind of look. I don't know. You know, it's a shame, Alex. When I met you, you had hair down to your shoulders. Yeah. You know. Uh, but he was seven. No, no, no. I, what were you, in the 30s? In your 30s? Uh, in 73? Uh, I was, uh, I was, uh, but I, but I, when I went back to New York, oh, it came back from New York. No, 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 you were in New York when I met you. Oh, when you were, oh, when you first met me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I was maybe, le uh, I was, yeah, maybe 29, 30, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, you had Phil when I first met you, too. I, oh, no. I mean, you had hair when I first met Phil. No, but that, this... Uh, yeah. No, that was what came out of the hat. Yeah, I had a lot of hair. And a long... Yeah. You know, I had a hair. lot of hair. I had a lot of hair when I was... You know, but I was destined now. to... I was destined to go kind of bald because I had a... I, a my uh, maternal grandfather was bald as a key. He, he was a cue ball, you know. He was just completely bald. I'm surprised uh, you don't shave your head, uh, Phil. You don't have any hair. Uh, I am. I don't know. Well, you know, you know, it, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, I'm considering it. I, I have some, but not much. And a I, friend of mine years ago, a comedian, uh, Robert Schimmel. Uh, he he was bald on top, and he said I used to wear my hair. I had very little hair up here, but I, a lot of this here. Okay. Yeah. Home over. And I said I had the I kind of felt I had the Danny DeVito look, you know. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and and he said to me, uh, he said, cut it all off. I said, why? He said, it's he said he called it preemptive baldness. He said, if you're bald up here, but you then keep a lot of hair here, it looks terrible. But if you shave it down, you're not afraid to get rid of it, and also to shave the top of it too. I mean, I still have some hairs growing here. If I didn't shave, you'd probably see a few hairs growing. But you know, I just felt that by just shaving it all off, having the guts to like razor sh do the the pate and all of that, that that I looked better than I did when I was trying to act like I still had hair, like well, you, you know, Phil. Some people, some people can pull that off. You look at a, the shape of uh, Yule Brenner's head i mean mm. uh, i think yule brenner has uh possibly the the best head for a shaved head or uh uh you know th there's others but i i was a breech baby and i have a pointed head and uh i don't think he's know. particularly pointed <laughs> well, no, I, 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 it goes up a little bit i mean i don't know why you're keeping what hair you got except that you yeah, paid I mean. for it you know. uh, yeah. Well, what I got left is uh, is what I took from the back and stuck on top, and in 2002. And another one of those wonderful con jobs that people do on people who have no self esteem because right. they lost their hair. That's the other one. Well, that, it, it was it's cosmetic, but you know they they took 3,500 hair follicles from uh, the the back of my. And they put it on top. And at one time, I had more mm -hmm. of my own hair that filled it in. Now this. Well, is you know what I, they could well, do if you want to fill it back in. They you can use the pubic pencil. hair. Pubic hair now. 
Yeah. 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 Of course, the trouble is you get crabs, but that's that's the only other. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe you do. <laughs> Mine's. I take a shower. <laughs> you can get the crabs without crab. taking a shower. Yeah. Yeah. Bill's yeah. never had that experience, Alex, because he's never been with somebody else. Crabs are still out there, right? I don't know. I yeah, so. sure. Uh, yeah, you know, no, I, I don't, I don't go out with the kind of uh, women. Oh or, yeah, my women were were pubic lice ridden women. Oh no, yeah. Al, Alan's Alan's women. Yeah, you had some pretty hot women. You know, I, I remember, uh, was it Naomi? That's why I don't regret my prostate being in the shape it's in now. I've, hey, I'm 83. I had 80 great years with this prostate. You were banging them at three years old? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh right. no, oh, you right. were. 75 right. years then. Yeah, No, no, he had the prostate for 80 years. He just didn't use it the first couple. <laughs> no, I don't know. I wonder, do you, is a, do you grow a prostate? I think maybe you do. Uh-huh. Uh, I think they. I think you're you're blessed with it from the yeah, beginning. Yeah, that's a good question. I've got to ask a doctor. Someday. Oh, puberty, maybe in puberty. Well, in puberty, you you start growing pubic hair, of course, and you you also get the urge. Okay, mm-hmm. now you have to have a prostate for that to happen. And I'm just wondering, do you have a prostate when you're born? Is it down there, but it's just dormant, or or is it something that grows? Uh, you grow at a certain point in life. I, that I don't know. Anybody out there have an answer to that question? Come on, I'm wa- I'm watching the lousy. Uh, uh, Come on, Tony. You know the answer. Yeah, this I have to Google it. I think you're born with it, and probably. I think so too. Don't bones. don't it's talk about t- Tony about anything that has to do with or, <laughs> they or, or, me or, or that has to do with question orgasms. <laughs> that questionnaire was so embarrassing. I was going to lie on it. <laughs> I should have called you up, Alex. Can you answer these questions? <laughs> right. Exactly. It's in Cheerios when you eat Cheerios when you're a kid. So, uh, um, <laughs> this is going to be scored multiple broken times. Cheerios. <laughs> oh, so they finally they charged the guy who choked the uh, guy to death. They did? They yeah. got did him? you watch oh, Alan's man. movie? Uh, the, his, uh, I didn't his send video? it to him. Oh, you didn't? No, I just sent it to you. Oh. One of the, one of the stories that was going around is that he was actually. Uh, kicked out of the Marines, really for aggressive uh, behavior. That was the, no, that was There's the something. shooter in Allen, Texas. No, this was this guy. Oh, really? Yeah, there was something about this guy and him in the Marines. He was in the Marines, and uh, that he he was kind of mustered out for certain reasons and whatever. But the, all these things are rumors, and they come to light, and you know whatever. But uh, they you know they charged the guy today, and. Uh, you know, I think partially because of all the protests, you know, and I don't think that that should come into into play when you're trying to make a decision of whether you're going to, you know, do this to somebody. So it says you're well, born with a you know, prostate. Wait a minute. We're, we're, we've got several subjects going at once. Oh, okay. oh, I yeah. just wanted to ask Yes, you're your... born with a prostate. Yeah, it says you're born with a prostate. It starts out about the size of a pea. Then it grows slowly to about the size of a walnut. Right. And when a man reaches his 40s and 50s... It's a watermelon. It it, it grows bigger sometimes (laughs) and to the point where you can have problems. Yes. Most men, it does grow. So you're born with it. Like Phil had one the size of a baseball. (laughs) Look at this. Oh, my God. Isn't that strange? He had had a prostate the size of a baseball and a penis... I can't get over that. A a pea... You know, it didn't start Everything out that way. <laughs> Everything you do is big. <laughs> the big computer, he's got the big. <laughs> yeah, he's got that. The big <laughs> he feels kind of, it's going to be big. It's going to be a big one. He's got that big. Play around everything. in the afternoon for me. He's coming in. <laughs> yeah. Alex, if you add water and rub it, it'll grow. Yours will grow just, you know, <laughs> and maybe one mine, day it'll mine, be like is, this. mine is exactly the same size. <laughs> Yeah, but but, but Phil mine, doesn't have mine one can anymore. beat up your com- my computer can beat up <laughs> not really. I'm pretty close to yours. Yeah, because mine is not the standard small one. Yeah, it's had stuff added to it. Talking about penises or yeah, well, or it sounded what? like that. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, um, you know, I mean, Go I back I, to the marine. What? Uh, oh, 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 no, so I, I, that that was just something I heard somewhere, 
Uh, also, did anybody see Trump mm. last night on CNN? Any of that? Uh, I saw the the reruns of it, and I thought he was great. He he didn't let them beat him up at all. He beat them up. They were so outclassed by him. Uh, was this a dream, face. Phil? Was this a dream? You should no. go back and watch it. Phil, again. Phil, I, I did. Phil, don't do, I, don't do that to me. I'm 83 years old. I could die at any moment, and that kind of statement would give me a shock. I guess we were watching two different shows. Yes, yeah, uh, I, I was. I was. I was watching the ones did, being. Did you uh, watch it in? Done. Did you watch it in Bizarro World? Yeah, I think probably. Uh, By the no, way, I, Tony knows what we're talking about when I say Bizarro yeah, World. Superman, <laughs> yeah. upside down. Yeah, he would feel he was. He's he, now looking it up on his on his phone. No, I, I'm I'm looking up. Actually, to watch see, it. I, I, Alan, I'm looking up to see if that uh, if the guy who did the chokehold was a uh, was mustered out of the Marines. Yeah. Find out. I'd like to know. I saw I, that. I'd somewhere. really like to know what Phil. All the things that you remember after watching Trump last night. Well, you know, I I didn't I I didn't watch the actual CNN. I watched the excerpts after uh, that were. Where did uh, you watch the excerpts on Fox? On Fox. Oh, of course. They were running the best moments of that. Well, and oh, they were pretty good moments. The crap, oh, one of them. Like when he completely insulted the host. Yes, yeah, he, yeah. he did. Yeah, I was like, yes. Oh, uh, was she was. She was out of her league. No, she oh, wasn't. I think she was doing a very good job. I think she was just trying to do the job that she was asked to do, which is interview this guy and don't but, don't and and make it a hard hitting interview because you want to get answers and you want and it, and, and you could, I'm sorry she couldn't get answers out of him. It was a he town hall. Questions. It wasn't her job to ask the questions. It was the job of the people at the town hall to ask the questions of Trump and for her to moderate. And she made it about her. That's that's the difference. Oh, I see. Okay. So Trump's just a wonderful, wonderful, warm, fuzzy this, person. This, Listen, how you can even even find that moron to be even... I can't. I can't. I got to stop. How many I, I listen to you guys. Vote for him. What? <laughs> what number of women are going to vote for him? Oh, he hasn't got the women vote at all. Of course. You know. I mean, he even. He. he you know. He, yeah. Maybe he didn't like what the woman was doing, but if he were going to play it smart, he wouldn't have attacked her because she is a woman, and right now that's in play. Okay, uh, well, and the way he treats women. He hates uh, women. When uh, the the thing is, uh, Biden has lost uh, <laughs> quite a bit of support from blacks and women, and uh, his pr approval rating right now is around thirty six percent. The only two people that had lower approval ratings uh, were Trump, which was at thirty two, I mm -hmm. think, at the same point, and uh, also um, Nixon was at twenty one. Uh, when he resigned, yeah. Other Nick, than that, Nixon was in the middle of a giant scandal, right? But he was at twenty-one yeah. percent. Yeah. So uh, as far as uh, approval ratings, uh, you know, uh, Biden's not doing too well, and he's and also Hispanics. He, uh, first of all, uh, Biden had uh, uh, in twenty twenty. What makes had, you think Hispanics aren't big right wingers? Well, they are. They are. So why are you bringing them up? Well, they, they, his support from Hispanics went down, but uh, his support from blacks prior uh, uh, at, in 2020 was 82%. Now it's at like 51%. So, uh, you know, he, he's he's losing a key vote that, that he's he still got 51%. What does Trump have among black voters? Uh, I don't know. I think it's pretty high. I don't know. I think right. comparison. No, you think it's pretty high. It isn't. No, it can, in comparison to other Republicans, you know, so uh, most Republicans didn't. I'm get asking you what percentage 50%. of uh, you said that the 51 percent of blacks are right. are for Biden. OK, how many are for Trump? Well, I it, at, it would have to be at least 40. Not, uh, the low, most it could be is 40. It was, like six, it was 16 to 20 percent. But OK, uh, so why, why are you that, singling out that 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 demographic for he, Biden? Um, I'll tell you why. Because Biden is losing. Uh, uh, you don't understand what I'm saying. Right now, the election isn't today, Phil. In fact, the election is still a year and a half away. 
Yeah, well, what I'm telling you is is that the trend line is is going in the opposite direction with black Phil, support. Phil, or I, I, I wouldn't believe any polls that are being taken today. And the reason is we're talking about a year and a half. A lot All can right, happen so in a year. A lot can happen in a year and a half. And quite frankly, in the polls that I have seen, nobody wants either of these people to run. That's true. Uh, and you know, uh, so let them let them club and the each only, other. And the only the person head. they want to have run less than Trump is DeSantis. Yeah. Well, why, why both parties feeling. don't try to get better candidates? Well, I think the Democratic Party may. And okay, up, well, uh, uh, yeah. Manchin. Kevin, I think Joe Manchin is going to run. Uh, yeah, as, yeah, as okay, as Kevin, as Kevin, what are your thoughts on this matter? Get me out of this. Mm -hmm. I can't help you. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what a goddamn help you are, Kevin. Jeez. Hey, what are you going to do? Ask Santa to, to help you? <laughs> Hey Santa! Don't make fun it's of that. Way too early for this crap. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Just uh, you know, All right. I know you well, came what, here what's tonight. What's the question? What? What's the question that I should ask the uh, the the computer to find out uh, if uh, the Marine uh, 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 left uh, what dishonorably or uh, uh, how how did? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, his name is if you haven't learned how to use Google, I'm not going to teach you. Yeah, I think his name was Penny. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I have the article up. Hold on a minute. Uh, I, I, from Yahoo News. Do we mm -hmm. trust that? I don't know. Yeah, he Yahoo served, News you can trust. He served in the Marine Corps for four years, rising to the rank of sergeant. His tour of duty, uh, he including uh, he got accolades and medals for good conduct humanitarian, national defense of service, mm. service of global war on terrorism. He served as a rifleman, like all Marines, in the Mediterranean, and his last assignment was at Camp June. Uh, he was honorably discharged. Okay. Was like a all right, nothing seems to be Sounds a, like a, a bum to me. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> Fire him! <laughs> that doesn't seem bad. You know. Okay. So but, I would I I would send a video and the article, Phil, to everybody that wants it. The trouble is, it's written by a police magazine. Now the video was not taken yeah. by the police, but the article is. I'll, well, I'll, I'll tell you what the problem is. The problem that I have is that they suddenly came to this decision today after all the protests. I don't no. think that that in any way should tell <clears throat> a. Uh, uh, you know, a, a, a what what what's the fun? The group of people, the uh, grand jury, the or, grand oh. jury, yeah, a grand jury. How they should do this? In fact, the grand jury didn't suggest it. it no, was, no, it was just there was no didn't. grand jury. It was he just, didn't. Was, send it, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What's his uh, What's his name? Uh, uh, Grant. Uh, yeah, the DA did not send it to the grand jury. He nope. just decided to charge. I think what he, uh, didn't, what, he didn't decide, Phil. No, he, it was Al Sharpton that decided. Oh, we did. No, uh, it Phil, was a Phil, hey, uh, See if you had, if you'd watch <laughs> CNN more often, you don't need, your TV won't even go to CNN. You told me, but um, so anyhow, well, um, Phil's I, talking. Do you mind if I floss? <laughs> sure. So uh, go ahead. I like those things, by the way. I yeah. use them all the time. I use it more than floss, mainly because oh, I'm lazy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're good at cleaning the prostate out too. So, uh, anyhow, uh, a, a twenty. That's what in comedy better. we call a callback. Unfortunately, that wasn't comedy. But go ahead, anyway. <laughs> go ahead, Phil. I mean, I did. I I, I you wasn't don't want to hear what I. So yeah, I, it, it, they have a they had a twenty five year DA investigator. Uh, decide and tell the DA to go ahead and charge him, thinking that there may be evidence that he overused his force. Well, I think where somebody does something and somebody dies as a result of it, I think there certainly has to be maybe a trial. You know, there needs to be I think an you need to see Alan's. I think you need to see Alan's video. Uh, if you saw Alan's video, the, there's no way that this guy uh, didn't do the right thing. Alex, that uh, I think I have your email. I don't want to announce it on the air here. What? Let me, 
let me look if I have your your email. Uh, you mean my, my email or Phil's? Phil's. No, I, I already that. got it. Uh, oh, hold on. If I sent it to Alex, he wouldn't watch it. But you know, I know I never watch anything you send me. <laughs> right. Really, I don't. Some of well, stuff is pretty good though. You, you do watch the cat videos. I like cat videos. Yeah, they have some great ones on you know on uh, on uh, TikTok. Like it really, every other one with me is like a cute kitty one. Yeah, the cute kitty ones is where they're stealing all your banking information. <laughs> no, they, <laughs> sending it back. To there China. we go. There, 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 there. That's the Chinese. Wait a minute. I'll hold on a second. I, I agree. Okay. Yeah, this is. Uh, oh, you agreed oh. to give them all your information? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? See, see, that's that's Chinese propaganda, folks. Must kill East West. Must kill West. Yeah. Invade Taiwan. Well, here we go. That's also another thing that you get. Uh, where Where is this? Oh, here we go. I can't. Right there. I can't. there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And then, that more that. And, and then you get more kitties. And uh, then I got more kitties. And I got more kitties. Boy, I'm, uh, I'm really, I'll tell you, I am just absolutely eating up this propaganda from China. You don't have to. It's all the information that they steal your keystrokes. Yeah. Oh, here's here's a cute, ugly cat. Wait a minute. I got it. There we go. Look at that. Mm. See that? That'll... Anyway. Chinese cat. Hmm? What? Chinese cat. Xenophobic cat. <laughs> Xenophobic <laughs> cat. Anyway. So, anyway, what, what else was in the news today that I saw? Um... um there wasn't much, to be honest with you. It was kind of a quiet day today. So, uh -huh. you know, but anyway. Um, I'm just getting tired of the way they handle the news. And, you know, I'm getting, I, I've, I've said this over and over again, that I think that we're, we're living in a really bad time. Of, this is no longer an information age, you know. And... Uh, but when you want to get back, if you want to get back to Trump for a moment last night, mm -hmm. I just feel that he, I watch him and he makes my skin crawl. He am I, am I right, Kevin? Do you have to get the same visceral feeling out of it? Yeah. And he mm -hmm. says the same thing over and over again. And, and he lies through his teeth. Yeah. And he lies and he gets caught and he lies again. Yeah. He's and a, a, lot liar. Of, a lot of people are saying what they have against CNN is not the way they handled the thing, but the fact that they did it at all and allowed for an hour's worth of misinformation to go across their their uh, you know their uh, broadcast waves, as it were, and and I think that that's exactly what happened last night. I think the man is full of of just misinformation. He just won't let go of the fact that he lost that goddamn election, you know. And I think yeah, he should probably miss fifty percent. I huh? think he believes it. No, I don't think he believes it at all. I think this man is this man is a uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, he's a psycho. He's a real psycho. He's got real mental problems. And you know, you oh. say, well, how do, how would you like a guy who is like heading for senility? And I said, that's better than somebody who hates the human race. Well, you if know. he's a psycho, maybe he should go into the subway and uh, do a Michael Jackson uh, impression. He's not that bad. It's impressive. It's sure what what is? Is that a joke, Phil? Yeah, yeah, it's a joke. I sent you the uh, I sent you the video uh, to your email. Video of what? Of the <laughs> other videos of the uh, hmm. the um, marine subduing the uh, uh, the crazy guy on the subway. Oh, okay. Well, I won't. Then I, I I can. I, I think you ought to watch it instead of burying your head in the sand. You know, uh, one that happened it, recently, I think your opinion will change. Did this happen You're an recently? Honest guy? No, yeah, hey, wait a minute. He's an honest guy. If you saw this, I don't think you'd you'd uh, uh, take the position you think. I, I, I'm taking the position that a man was killed in an okay. incident that happened in which somebody was using too much force and that it needs to be investigated or he needs to be charged and be able to defend himself in court. Well, I don't think it, I don't think that it's ever called for, Phil. If you'll see, if you see I, the video, I'm saying you'll see it, that there wasn't too much force applied. Well, he died. There Bill, was obviously Bill, enough to kill matter. him. That's Bill, too much force. Bill, this is the way I didn't send it to Alex and everybody else because 
they have a different opinion than somebody that's trained. Well, I'm, my basic like op I, my I. opinion is based not on what happened in the video, but the fact that it happened at all in the way that, and had the result that it had. And this guy going crazy in the car and threatening people, that, that wasn't him causing the situation. You know, this these people... It doesn't carry with it a death penalty. I said that last it, it, night, that and I'll guy, say it again. It did for that guy. Well, it shouldn't have. Well, it shouldn't have. He was... No, it, 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 actions, actions have consequences. He was a homeless guy who's been failed by the society who has done nothing to try and oh, deal with his... To help him deal with his problems. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kevin. When did this happen? The, oh, ago. this this in New York? This was last week, I think, is when it yeah. happened. Okay. I didn't hear about it. So yeah, a guy, a guy who was a Michael Jackson impersonator uh, and a homeless guy and uh, admittedly probably a little bit out to lunch, all right, yeah. uh, started causing problems in a subway car. Uh, as to whether other people were threatened by him, that's still to be determined, but... Uh, this uh, one guy tackled him to the ground and put a chokehold on him. And after a certain amount of time, uh, the guy passed out and on the way to the hospital died as a result of the chokehold. So, the, you know, then, the, can I finish, Phil? Uh, I'm trying to explain it to Kevin who doesn't know the story. So the question here is really, you know, was too much force being uh, put into play there and was he using the minimum amount of, 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 uh, of uh, strength to stop the guy, or was he overdoing it? And, well, and the fact is that the guy died, and that's almost, to me, says too much force. Yeah, Alan, uh, uh, now in the article that came with that video, was did the homeless guy attack someone on the train? In the video, I, I don't know if they showed it, but they talked about somebody being attacked. Okay. They talked about it. That's not on the showing have, it on the video. On this video. They have 50 witnesses on that train that saw the whole thing happen, and they've interviewed those 50 witnesses. I'm not saying the guy shouldn't have been stopped. I don't think that choking him was a way of stopping him. Yeah, I guess I would ask if the guy had the ability to give him a chokehold, why didn't he have the ability to just restrain him? That was the restraint. Well, that's okay. not restraining. That's, that's way lethal restrain. restraining, it's restraining, restraining in a lethal fashion. Uh, it, it, Alex, if you see this video, you'll... I don't uh, care. I, I don't care, the Phil. The, 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 there's still one basic truth you can't get around. This guy is dead as a result and, of and this man. Wait a minute. The, as a result of this man's actions, <laughs> and the question is, what would have happened if they hadn't even restrained that guy? Would he have done something dangerous to somebody else? And the answer probably. is probably no. The answer could be probably no as well. He's got 27 felony convictions for assault in other places. So in, in probably, he, he, you know what he is? Off of he, he's, he's a crazy guy. We've got a lot of them here in New York City. He's a crazy guy that the system has failed because they never did anything to try and correct nope. his, his... No disagreement there. You know. He had... His actions have consequences. No, sometimes and, if, and, if you're you know, crazy, if you're crazy, you do that. You say that, then so does the guy that restrained him. His actions have consequences. Yes, exactly, well. exactly. Absolutely. And Very and he made a Absolutely. decision, and he's not running away from his action. Right. So uh, if he gets what he gets. He gets it. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. but he could have. He could have. He could have held himself back. He's, he's, he's taking on an untrained situation uh, and probably overdid it. This guy was... You guys are saying you're trained and you probably would have stopped at a certain point. When I he think was, he did. Point. If, if, if but he, he was got, not trained and he didn't stop. Kevin, you don't. You didn't have the opportunity to see the video. Something that I like no, that's, that's Phil, true. I'm, was, not, I'm just. I'm just throwing out. He was doing things. this for something. How long was it? He was doing 15 this. Minutes. Fifteen minutes. He had this guy. In no, no, no. It was fifteen minutes before the police arrived. But uh, once this guy uh, subdued uh, the uh, the uh, the homeless guy. Once he passed out, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he, he let stopped. go of him. And then they put him in a position. Rolled to him over on his side, which is a recovery position for this. Yeah. 
and and uh, you know, uh, Alan. Whoa, you know something? For witness. Thank God I tried the recovery position. Yeah, uh, Alan is an expert witness. Yeah, well, okay, we've run out of time. I, I I just noticed with all this arguing, yeah, I thought that was I'm it. almost. Isn't that, a, isn't that fun? Thing, <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Jack on about a minute late. Okay. Oh no, he'll, he'll be later. That, that's a mercy minute. Why? It's a mercy minute. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, I don't know what I like better, Phil, on this program, or those two guys getting <laughs> it up the butt. You know. Uh, <laughs> well. Uh, do we what, get to vote on that? The question is, what's the difference? Jeff, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you, Kevin, for joining us. Thank you, Alan, for being here. Phil, always nice to have you join us on the program. Yeah, yeah. He's got uh, he's got small fingers too, uh, and uh, of course, uh, Tony. So good to see you, everybody. Give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, and uh, uh, apologize while I'm doing so. Uh, to Jack, because I'm just a little bit late here. Anyway, uh, I'm Alex Bennett. Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. You can call him on Skype at GabNet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow night, the last program of the week. Uh, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.